What is up guys, it is Nisho here and uh, <laughs> I don't know why I was so loud, but we finally got the last of the Shadow Six Samurai monsters and honestly, it's not that great, but I will still talk about it and uh, go over it with you guys because I do think that this is half of what Six Samurais needed, but not all of it. So, first off, Shadow Six Samurai Fuma. This guy is a level one Six Samurai tuner. Let's all give a round of applause to Konami. Come on guys, clap it up. Clap it up, man. This is what Six Samurai has needed for so long. The problem is this card doesn't special summon itself. Now, <laughs> Just a giant awe in the background. Like from Super Smash Bros, like that giant disappointment sound. But, um, Six Samurais are a deck of speed. Alright, they've always been a deck of speed. And with this new Six Samurai support, it may be a little helmet, but I feel like it doesn't exactly match up to the power of the legendary Six Samurai or even the previous Six Samurai before that. These six samurais seem a little slow, seem inconsistent. They seem like the ice barriers of this stuff. They, they, they all seem like to have gimmicky effects that work in such situational um, situations <laughs> that they don't seem too playable in a competitive deck, you know, or in a fast deck, in a consistent deck. Even though, you know, you have your searchers and you still have your gateway, well, I, I assume we're going to have gateway by the time this stuff comes out. It still doesn't feel like it's strong enough to be played in a full-fledged Six Samurai deck. Now, the power of this card, I do think this card has potential simply because of its effect. Now, I know <laughs> just, just it being a level 1 tuner I think is good enough. Honestly, because, you know, this and Kizan, free Shien, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's what I really wanted for a long time, especially around the time of Storm of Ragnarok, where the Legendary Six Samurai first came out. And I was really, I was really, like, uh, thirsty for another way to summon Shien other than just uh, Elder and Kagamusha or Kageki and Kagamusha. You know, I wanted a level 1 tuner, and the only level 1 tuner that Six Samurais could use was Shien Squire, which could still be summoned off of Shien's Dojo, but because it wasn't a Six Samurai monster, it wasn't too useful after that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, honestly, you would rather draw a Squire just to drop it than, um, than use it for a Synchro Summon, which is kind of contradictory, because, um, you know, it was one of those cards that, you know, I, I just played it at one because, you know, I was like, okay, if I draw it, I can save a Six Samurai for a turn. Or if I draw a level 4 Six Samurai in a dojo, I can summon out that Six Samurai Tribute Dojo and summon out a Squire going to Xi'an. Now, obviously, that was back when I first played the Legendary Six Samurai. Now, Xi'an's Dojo, you know, I realized that that card isn't that good, especially with Gateway Gone. And the fact that it has to tribute itself as well makes it pretty bad. But, um... Yeah, so Shadow Six Samurai Fuma, it's it's the win type, so you know it was the last attribute of uh, all the Shadow Six Samurai that needed to be shown. And so, if this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you special summon one Six Samurai from your deck, except uh, Shadow Six Samurai Fuma. Do you know why this is crazy? Guess why this is crazy? I, I bet you can, if you just look at this effect. I bet you can already guess why I'm thinking this card is so crazy. You probably guessed it. There's no ones per turn on this card, man. No ones per turn on this card. So, you can play this in freaking Metal Foes. Alright? <laughs> Metal Foes just got new material, man. Metal Foes just got a new tuner. Um, Think about it, think about it. He can summon any six samurai except for another copy of himself, right? So he can summon uh, Kenba, he can summon uh, Hatsume, he can summon, uh, what is it, the, the level 4 one, uh, Kizaru. And then Kizaru can search another copy 
of your Shadow Six Samurai Fuma. And if you're playing a, a version of Metal Foes that uses like a Jaconic Diagram, you can pop that Fuma in your hand and then uh, special summon another Six Samurai and search a Masterpiece. So already you have Masterpiece, uh, two Six Samurais on board, and you know, two, just for two Metal Foes on scale and one Fuma. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that's either a free synchro or you know, whatever you want to do with it. But I think it has potential in that way. In the actual Six Samurai deck, you know, obviously it's slow because it, it's a level one tuner. So I'm going to have to wait till I get a level four, like he's on, to actually use it. And uh, it it can't go into um, Naturia Beast. And so honestly, it, it's, it's just pretty mediocre. It's maybe like a one of at best in Six Samurai. But, you know, in other decks, I, I think this opens up a lot of new strategies. So... Honestly, it's still a little disappointing, but I think it's, it has potential, just not in Six Samurai. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I did say, uh, I did miss uh, talking about uh, Legend, not Legendary, Shadow Six Samurai uh, Doji, which is the Dark One, level 4, 1700 attack, and 1200 defense. And so what he does is that he's just, uh, while well, you control him, uh, when you summon out another Six Samurai monster, you get to mill a Six Samurai card from your deck to the graveyard. So first off, it says card. So maybe we're gonna get a spell or trap card that has a banish effect in graveyard. I think that would be amazing. And um, it's not once per turn either. So if you feel the need to put a lot of Six Samurais that, um, that have the save you from destruction effect in graveyard, uh, while you have a doji on the field, that might not be a bad idea, because then once you have a board filled with six samurais, it's going to be harder to get rid of all of them at once, or even get rid of all of them in general. You know what I'm saying? Because there, you're going to have a lot of monsters in your graveyard that can stop them from being destroyed. And this is kind of the conundrum with these new six samurai monsters. It's like you're sacrificing speed for protection. And it feels weird, you know what I'm saying? Because Six Samurais, again, has, has always been, you know, one, for Legendary Six Samurais, it was always about speed. And the original Six Samurais, I can kind of understand, you know, they were kind of a bit a bit of a helmet deck as well, because, you know, they all had effects to um, where you could destroy another Six Samurai instead of destroying them. And it was like a... It, it was actually pretty helmet, if you think about it, like the original Six Samurai monsters. But, um... And I feel like them going back to that in a way where it feels kind of fresh and they're doing it in a way where it doesn't really hinder, um, where, I mean, well, not this, where you don't have to use resources on your field, but resources in the graveyard. So I think that it makes it a little, uh, better because, you know, if, you know, before it, you would have to have two six hour monsters on the field just to even use it. And now, um, you know, it would have to be just in the graveyard. Now, the fusion is the only one, I'm pretty sure, that can stop multiple destructions at the same time. All of the small Shadow Six Samurais um, can only stop the destruction of one Six Samurai monster. Yeah, and they only just stop the destruction of monsters. So they don't stop the destruction of Six Samurai cards, like... Uh, like the Dynamis Pendulum Scales do. I think that would have been a little better because honestly, what Six Samurai cards are you using other than Six Samurais? Um, if they're really gonna, you know, if they're really gonna put an effect that says you mill a Six Samurai card from your deck to the graveyard, they should also have uh, the effect to protect Six Samurai cards from destruction. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, honestly, again, these two are just all right. Um, Shadow Six Samurai, I don't know if they're going to be anything too special. Uh, Magi Bullet and Weathery are already looking way better <laughs> than this new Six Samurai support. But I guess it's because Six Samurai already have so much that giving them more now would be a little a little overkill. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like Black Wings. They, they've already had their prime. You know, giving them good support at this point would kind of be a bit overkill and you know reviving the deck isn't something that most people want to see anyway so they're kind of they can just stay in their corner you, you know what i'm saying same thing for six samurai that's kind of that's that's what i feel 
is the mind tech Konami has towards this new six camera support. But yeah, uh, I guess that's really all for now. I know this video was a little late, but I was a bit busy Monday evening and most of Tuesday. So um, you'll see this when you see this, maybe like Wednesday, Thursday. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.